I mean, you know, the food's it's ready to go, so. Yeah. What's up, YouTube? Little green one here. Uh, got a new alcohol stove. It's the copper coil stove that you've all seen. Uh, this uses the uh, 3 8 inch uh, copper coil. Got that at Lowe's, five bucks. Uh, it's got the single jet right there in the center. Uh, I've got the uh, bottle cap here ready for priming. Got an ounce worth of alcohol in there. And uh, one more thing, this is a pimento pepper uh, jar that holds, it, it holds about four or five ounces worth of alcohol. Uh, this is heat fuel. And then we're gonna light it up and uh, see what it does here. There we go. Wow. Primer. Primer fuel out of the way. There we go. Get it calmed down a little bit. It was a little bit warm already, so uh there we go. Okay. A little spitting and sputtering, but we're good to go. Um takes a little bit more heating up and it's gonna get like a blowtorch kind of sound to it. It's really loud. Hopefully. I've done some uh, tweaking to it a little bit. Hopefully I haven't messed it up. But, uh, sounds a bit like that, but it doesn't seem to be doing it now. Hmm. I wonder if it has enough fuel. Does it take more fuel? It's coming. It's coming.
superheated that metal and it's glowing. And I don't want it to collapse on itself because it's off to the edge because the flame, as you can see, comes to the left side mainly. Kind of running low on alcohol now. Up, oh, yeah. Went in low on alcohol. I didn't put enough alcohol in it. Um, that's nice. You can see there's kind of a kind of a green flame to it. That copper. That copper gives it a green flame. We're at two minutes and thirty seconds, and we got steam. We got we got little bubbles. So, I tested this the other day and it did it in uh, four minutes. We're at uh, three minutes, so should be almost having a boil. We're uh, looking at this kind of flame. That's pretty, that's a pretty blue green. That copper does some pretty cool stuff. I mean, even even at that little flame, we should get close to a boil. Got steam, all kinds of steam, not really rolling, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blow it out, add some more fuel to it. It's really easy to blow out. It's actually practically gone. <laughs> so do that. Get this out the way. The base of it's cool, so. Uh, it's just the coil that's receiving all the heat. Add some fuel in there. Right. there Quick and easy. It's still putting out the uh, flame, so no need for a uh, primer. Doing like that. Heat up pretty quick back to the other. using backpacking and stuff um, as soon as you light the flame you should you can go ahead and put the pot on it and uh, it's going to give you a faster boil I just love when it gets all the way heated up and it just blows out there like a it's crazy I, this is the fastest hottest stove I've, I've ever made and uh, it's pretty awesome you can see the, uh, the thin metal that's hardware cloth um, it's getting red hot, you know. And, uh, but that worries me because it, you know, you heat up metal, it gets weak. So, not good for a pot stand. Stove is getting fully heated back up again. And, uh, Six minutes and 41, but we lost some time refueling, so you can take that into account. Get this pot up here because it just—I need a 
better parts then. So. Nothing crazy. So that's a little green one. Uh, Bull in water. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out the other videos. I'm sure you've probably seen my other copper coil stove back from uh, long ago. But uh, thank you for watching. If you're still here, if you're still watching, thank you for watching. And uh, have a nice day.